Hey guys, it's your girl Carby Smoke over at Who Gives My Life, and um, I'm bringing you this really quick video on how I clean my bowls. So I have three bowls right now. I have a Vortex, Egyptian, Mod Bowl. So I use three things. I use warm hot water, put a slash there, it's kind of in between, baking soda, and either vinegar or lemon juice. I like lemon juice. And then I use, to clean them, clean them, like to hold them in, this. It is a Tupperware container sectioned off because I don't just clean my bowls at the same time. Like, what I mean is I don't just clean my bowls when I clean my bowls. Um, basically I grab everything. I grab all my grommets, I grab my purge valve and the ball, um, and I put them in this container. Usually I put my grommets, my purge valve, and the ball bearing in this small one because it's small enough for them. And then I put my bowls in here. So what I'll do is I'll take baking soda, and I would show you guys, but I actually just cleaned them today. What I do is I take baking soda, and I put a little bit on the bottom, and with, um, only a little bit, like in here as well. And what I do is, um, I'll take my bowls, and I'll put them upside down, and I'll put them in here, and excuse me and because my third bowl won't fit in here I use the other bigger pocket so basically I do this so what I'm doing when I fill this with some baking soda is I basically put a strip down and I put my bowl on top of the strip of baking soda so that way um this here has the baking soda underneath so then what I do is I take the lemon juice or the vinegar and I pour it inside of the stem of the bowl. That way it has the volcano reaction and it'll fill up um, with the reaction. Then I take warm water and I put it in this part and I put a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar in here as well. Then I just kind of let them sit for about five minutes, and when you pull up, which is what I do, you'll notice all of the shisha come out, okay? So then I put it down, and I kind of swirl it around a little bit, and then um, I take them out. Now, depending on how dirty they are, that depends on the time I let them sit. So then um, I'll take the bowls out and upside down I'll pour the water from the actual faucet I'll use the faucet and put water in here and I'll rub down the stem of the bowl and I'll rub my finger along the inside a little bit um, just to kind of get whatever residues you can see I missed a little bit um, is in the bowl okay that way the inside of my bowl is now nice and clean and then, um, if you get, like, um, this kind of mark here that's on the ceramic, it's, like, uh, where cooked shisha has been or whatever. It turns, like, a black color. Just basically take the hot water, swirl it around, and use your nail or, like, a toothbrush or whatever, and just kind of scrape it a little bit. It'll come right off. Um, I actually haven't figured out a way to clean the spire here yet. It's really kind of annoying to me. But I'm sure that it's the same way with just a little bit of friction to get it off. So I do that the same with these. Um, because these aren't glazed like these, they don't get as... Um, well, I shouldn't say that they're not glazed. They're not the same type. Of glaze you can definitely feel the difference with the way that this is made in the way that the mod bowl is made so um, once I clean everything I rinse the con entire container out once I like rinse off the ball bearing and all that stuff 
and I put all of my stuff on like a little paper towel just so that it'll dry out and then I take another paper towel and I'll dry out the inside and put it in here so that I can stack all of my stuff in here neatly and then I can bring it back to my hook area so that is how I clean my bowl Zuh.